are we going to be doing any modifications to it or I adding? Some, I got some fun bags. Look, I got some fun bags. Kevin jumped right into it. Kevin, I will. I will yeah. hit you so hard. <laughs> It's hot. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes, Woo. Kevin. Oh. What's up, Library Nation? What is going on, guys? <laughs> so we found a lot of comments uh, and a lot of questions regarding child support. Yeah, child support. And That's are fine. we gonna are we gonna be doing any modifications to it? Or I got adding? Some, I got some fun bags. Look, I got some fun bags. Kevin jumped right into it. Kevin, I will, I will yeah. hit you so hard. So Anyways, the answer is yes. We've been doing a lot of research on terms of air ride suspension to help level it out when we're towing and when we're not towing, et cetera, et cetera. And we finally found out what we wanted to go with. Check this out. Check this out. Would you look at it? Would you just, Would you look, just at look at it? Kevin's so excited about this I right am. now. Wireless air. Wireless air. He's so excited. Okay, so. Uh, we're not going to do a whole install how-to. There's a book for that if you want to know. With but, colored photos. With colored photos. But Kevin. it's a pretty simple install. I'm going to let these guys do it because they just did one on like an F-150 the yeah. other day. Uh, F-350. F-350. Yeah. But that was the 5,000 kit. Yeah, 5,000 pound. We've, we've got we've got the 7,500 7, XL. XL. Uh huh. And you guys so liked it? Carry all the precious cargo, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The wireless system, super easy install. Yeah. Um, and then it's super easy to adjust on the fly. So I had already got this on order and I saw them doing it. I was like, hey, how's the install? He's like, I don't know. Let's do it. So he did it. They got done. He was like... That was actually really nice, super easy, and the wireless, everything sits under the bed somewhere. You don't yep. have to get everything inside. The, the wireless vehicle. air pump mounts up on the side frame, super tucked up out of the way, good to go. That's it. Thanks. So we're going to let them get the talent on this and show you some sh sh action once we get the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, you can see right there, that's how simple. A couple brackets, a bag, some airline, and then we'll show you the uh, wireless air up system in a minute. Maybe that's my age showing, or maybe that's your age showing. It's, I don't know. It's probably mine. <laughs> that's super rad, though. Oh, so as you can see right here, just use the U-bolt to hold uh, the whole bracket against the spring pack here, so that holds it that way. And then you have two cage bolts here with a strap that's gonna hold it down. And on the driver's side, you wanna be careful just because your vent is right here, your diff vent tube, and it's very, very close. So just when you tighten everything down, make sure you don't come down on this and, and bend Absolutely that brass or cut it or something like that. So, but uh, once it's all tightened down, it should be good. Okay, maybe somebody can help me out here. Well, actually I wanna show you, like look how massive this freaking drive shaft is. All aluminum, just massive beast. But I, I got a question for all you guys. So here's my rear diff tube breather, right? It's a couple feet long, uh, goes all the way up to the bottom of the bed. You know, it gets out of the way. Check this out. What is going on here? What, what, what happened there? What, <laughs> the, why is the rear one two feet above the axle and the front one is literally not even above the top of the housing? How, why, what? Can somebody explain this, please, somebody? And then also, I didn't know that uh, this had a front axle disconnect too. Not as big of a deal, uh, since we're not really off-roading it, and it's a massive housing, so not too worried about that. Anyway, somebody, please, anybody tell me what's, what's going on here? I'd appreciate it. So something super funny we just noticed. So we got the uh, Milestar XTs put on in Portland, and we're now in Seattle, or up in Northridge, just west of Seattle. Anyway, it's like a three and a half hour drive, right? Well. Check this out. These brand new tires still have all the little fuzzies on them. This is the front. So this is after three and a half hours of driving. Every little fuzzy, it looks completely brand new, right? On the front. The rear, the rear, no fuzzies at all, all worn down. Now I say this and I show this because that shows just how much weight is all on the back with the whole back squatted and the front lifted up is that there was literally not even enough pressure like weight on the front of this 
to wear down these fuzzies at all. So, so doing the airbags is gonna lift the back end back up and kind of uh, even out the weight there, uh, the weight distribution, but I never thought that'd be a thing. I mean, these, the, look, look at this. Can you see all of them? Look at that. They are all still fully there and intact, every single one of them. Here, let me turn this around. Okay, look at this. Every single one of those, all the way across the tire, is still there. So that's the front, <laughs> and then the rears have, have nothing. So I'm actually super excited to get these airbags on and get lifted back where it needs to be. So that's gonna lift that back up. Okay, so the rear bags are pretty much in, tightened down. We're gonna Loctite everything. Um, we'll pull one knot off at a time, Loctite it all. But I wanna show you. Doot, doot, doot. Ah. So here is the whole control box. That's it right there. So they do supply uh, a U-bolt that goes around the frame, but it actually, the whole thing sits sideways and you either have one side hanging down about even or below the frame, um, one side or the other. So what they like to do is actually just drill and tap the frame because the frame is thick enough and strong enough is we drill and tap the frame and move it way up out of the way. You can see the pumps all up there, everything's out of the way and then we just tighten it down. So it's just a different way of doing things. I like this a lot better because it's way, it's way, way up out of the way and you don't have to worry about it catching or hitting on anything. Not that it really will, we're not going off road because all the DPF stuff hangs way low. But to me, I'd rather have it up completely out of the way like that. Okay, so we have the bags installed from Airlift. So what we're gonna do right now, we're about to like fully load up and leave. We don't have the trailer actually hooked up yet. So we're gonna go ahead and measure without the trailer hooked up, then we're gonna measure with the trailer hooked up, then we're gonna measure with the whole thing loaded, and then we're gonna see what the airbags are capable of. So without anything on it whatsoever, the truck is right at 10 and a half inches. Let's hook up the trailer. Okay, now with the trailer hooked up, we are at... Nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches, so a full inch. So we lost an inch. We lost an inch with just the trailer. Now let's see what happens when we load a 7,000 pound stepchild and a, I don't know, 55, 6,000 pound gladiator. How much does the gladiator weigh? I don't know. So we started at 10 and a half, and then with just the trailer, we were at nine and a half, and then now with just the Gladiator, we are at eight and a quarter. And I know it's loaded all the way forward. If that was the only thing on there, we'd load it further back and it probably wouldn't go so much. But for this uh, exercise right now, 10 and a half, nine and a half to eight and a quarter. Now we're gonna throw the step shot on there, see what happens. Okay, so before we use the bags, final measurement. What are your guesses? So we were 10 and a half, nine and a half with the trailer, eight and a quarter with the uh, foster, foster child. child, and now we've got the step child. Now we've got the step child, what are we at? So 10 and a half, nine and a half, eight comments. and a quarter. Where are we at? I bet, I bet most of you are wrong. We were at eight and five eighths. We went up. We went up. Oh, because the step child well, put some eight, weight in the we're back. Eight and a half, so we're back to. Eight and a half. Yeah, we're back to eight and a half. So total, we went down two inches. Right, we went two inches, yeah. From ten and a half down to eight and a half. We went down to eight and a quarter, then eight and a half because the stepchild leveled it back yeah. out. That shows you the weight difference between the two and, and putting weight, obviously, in the back of the trailer. So that would tell you that you don't want to load up, obviously, a vehicle all the way forward. You'd be putting way too much yeah. weight back here. So now... Jelly bean! So let's, let's do another guess. All right, so how many PSI before we're back up to ten and a half? Ready? All right, let me see the handy dandy controller. Yeah. Have we shown that? Did we show that? I don't, I don't think so. So this is the controller. So let's see, there's 18 PSI. Let's see, let's watch it go up. Oh, you can't really, it's LED. That's 30. Pow! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> There's 10. All right, 
70 psi 70 psi to get it to about 10. okay so with bags you want to get back up to your uh, normal ride height like what it said at the factory which is actually gets you off of this load this load spring right here this like load leveling spring or helper spring or this is what you get into when it starts to sit down and that's and we've always been really deep into that yeah it's always like sat way deep into that so this is nice we're back up we're back up here and um that really should lift the back up it should put more weight back on on the trailer axles and kind of level it all out Basically on the truck itself so. distribute the weight from all of this a lot more evenly right. across the front and rear axles if, the as this vehicle. dips down the weights kind of you know kind of all centering right on the rear axle concentrating right there yeah so kind of neat i'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how it rides now Okay, so we have officially been on the road for a few hours now. We started originally at 70 PSI because that's what put us back up to the original height uh, before we loaded everything down. Uh, but since then, we've kind of played with it. So it wasn't, it wasn't uncomfortable at 70, but you can definitely tell it was a little bit stiffer. So we've kind of played with that fine tuning point between comfort handling and obviously leveling out the vehicle and helping to distribute the weight. So. Yeah, and I just found out that the controller actually does side side to side as well, yeah. which is kind of cool. So if you have too much, if, if you do load up the bed, and you have more weight on one side, you can level it out. So you're not putting all that weight. You didn't up. know you could air up the tires individually. No, I think a lot of controllers are just upper, like just you just get air, you don't get air. But this My experience with air ride, granted, well, show cars, you, you got, can air up individual tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so far so good. Uh, it's handling really well comfort wise. Like I said, we're playing with it, um, but yeah. And now I don't have to worry about my headlights being like this or like this every time like we, if we unload or load up. Reload, yeah, they'll be, that's, that's another thing too. The headlights will be consistently aimed because you can use the airbags basically to adjust the vehicle rather than having to constantly adjust the headlights. But anyways, you guys, we love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember you can find all your Life Right Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All of your Lightbright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. At pixeldecals.com. And we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye. We're gonna do a, a zero to 60 test fully, fully loaded here. Just for funsies? Yeah, here it comes. All right, ready, set, go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, eleven, one thousand, twelve, one thousand, thirteen, one thousand, fourteen, one thousand, fifteen, one thousand, sixteen, one thousand, seventeen, one thousand, eighteen, one thousand, nineteen, one thousand, twenty, one thousand, twenty-one, one thousand, twenty-two, one thousand, twenty-three, one thousand, twenty-four, one thousand, twenty-five, one thousand, twenty-six, one thousand, twenty-seven, one thousand, twenty-eight, one thousand, twenty-nine, one thousand, twenty-ten, one thousand, twenty-eleven, one thousand, twenty-twelve, one thousand, twenty-thirteen, one thousand, twenty-fourteen, one thousand, twenty-fifteen, one thousand, twenty-sixteen, one thousand, twenty-seventeen, one thousand, twenty-eighteen, one thousand, twenty-nineteen, one thousand, twenty-twenty, that was actually up a hill. Fully loaded up a, a hill. That was up a little hill. That's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah.